Hey guys, this is How Tumen here, and today we are making a video on the top root apps. So this is a pretty cool video that I've been meaning to do for a while on uh, what the best apps are if you have a root device, or if you're rooting your device and you're interested in that. So, check it out. All of the lights. Alright guys, so let's go over the top root apps here. So let's start with number one, which is Super User. So what this app basically does is it manages what other apps can get root access. If uh, an app needs to use root, uh, it has to get permission from this app before it can use root. As you can see, I have two apps set here, so let's delete one. And later when we open it, it will pop up. The second most important is actually Titanium Backup. And this app is very important because Titanium Backup pretty much when you have root, you want to flash a lot of ROMs and stuff. So to do that, you sometimes have to delete all your apps. But Titanium Backup gives you a simple way to back up all your apps and backup system data. So if you have the pro version like us, we paid $7 for it. You could do a lot more. Uh, it has a lot of options. So you could also schedule when to backup apps. You could run it every Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you enable that, it's pretty cool guys and it's very useful. Number three, which would be voltage control. So what voltage control does, it's kind of like tech CPU except it's free. So once you grant it super user permission, you could set to overclock your phone. So right now that's stock, but if I wanted to overclock it to that, to 1400, I could. Because you could also undervolt, which saves a lot of battery. It's how I get a lot of battery. I undervolt my phone. But with these apps, you have to be careful. It's trial and error. You have to find the settings that are good for your phone because every phone's chip is different, believe it or not. So find good settings and stick with them. And you could also set the CPU governor. So that's what Voltage Control does. Now let's go on to the third best app, which isn't really an app that requires root, but it uh, does a lot if you have root. It's XDA Premium. What XDA Premium does is, if you don't know XDA, it's a big community where people with root share ROMs and mods. There's a bunch of forums as you scroll through. There's a lot of phones. They even have some for the Galaxy S3 which hasn't been released yet. They have sections for various phones and let's click on a random phone. Let's click on the Skyrocket. So you go here and you get this menu which is uh, general questions and answers, accessories, development, and themes and apps. So let's click Android development and as we can see here there's kernels and there's ROMs. Just click on a random one. It has a lot of posts, I guess. Let's just click on one of their screenshots and this is what their ROM looks like. So that's what XDA app is. And then app number five is better battery stats. So what's better battery stats? It's pretty much ever had anything that's draining your battery super fast? Well, better battery stats will pretty much tell you what that is. So you get options here. Since charge, what's been using your battery? So for me, it's been Fruit Ninja. Not gonna lie, I play that game a lot. And you can see if you have any like partial wake lock, so it's what's waking up your phone. And it's pretty much a pretty in-depth way of looking at what wastes your battery on your phone. Paid off the market, or there's a free version on XDA by the developer. And then another cool app, number six, we have ROM Toolbox. So what ROM Toolbox is, it's pretty much if you have a custom ROM, it's a toolbox to let you do a bunch of other things. So it'll get you ROM manager, app manager, root browser, start an ad blocker, that's a really cool thing. You could also configure app to SD, you have a rebooter, you could um, handle performance, you could do CPU control, so like overclocking. It's a pretty much an app that combines everything together. So you could see here the voltage control, system control, advanced, and it also has a memory manager. It also has a font installer, boot animations, theme manager, icon changer, boot logo changer, and theme chooser. So it's a really great app that combines a lot of things into one. That's pretty much all the root apps that we have for today, guys. But these are the top root apps that I recommend everybody have if you want to root your phone or if you already have. But if you're just starting, these apps are all great apps to have. So uh, guys, another question is, do you want me to do a video every week on the Android news, leave your comments on what do you think about that because I was thinking about starting a series where every week we just review Android news and see what's new in like the Android world so like let's say another phone launches I'd cover some of the stuff that went on in the event 
So if you guys want me to show you guys that stuff, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Just leave your opinion in the comment section. Kapow.